Hello and welcome to my Kubuntu 14.04 long-term support release review. I find Kubuntu 14.4 to be an excellent flavor of the Ubuntu Linux distributions and a very good installation choice if you like playing around with settings, customizing your Linux and making it look nice. The purpose of this review is just to show you my custom setup. Perhaps you might like to copy it and it will also show off some of the power and ability of KDE to change to your own preferences. When you install Kubuntu 14.04 for the very first time, you will end up with a desktop that looks very much like this. It's rather bland and I don't like it. How do I get from there to my current setup, which is this one here? This is what we'll show right now. So the first thing we do is mess around at the panel. So I think I can mess with the panel here if I unlock my widgets unlock. I click the little cashew nut icon and I move with screen edge and I can also change the height of it. Why do I change the height? Because when I open up the internet and it goes to maximize, I don't obscure my back button, which is a very frequently used button. So the next thing to notice with my icons here on the panel manager is it's not the standard set. Okay, I've added the widget which is the icon only task manager. This gives you something very similar to Unity or Windows 7. It's a little icon only manager rather than a little preview window, which is a standard one from let's say Windows XP or standard KDE installations. When you do this and you want to make it a launcher, you will have to click on the icon. So just to show you this, if I open up the internet again and I right click on the Firefox icon, you will need to ask for it to show a launcher when not running. The last thing to describe then is just some ancillary features that I haven't covered so far just to tie everything up together again. So if I go back to my panel here you see when you hover over for example the folder view icon, bring up this one for desktop, it's a very easy to use system because you have everything here on the left that you might possibly want. You have the kind of macro information for it here. So if I go into my home folder, which is this, I can split the window, let's say, into the desktop folder, and I can take, th sorry, take things out of one file here, let's say videos, and I can drag and drop into the desktop or vice versa. This is incredibly handy when you're putting in a USB pen drive and you want to drag and drop information really easily. You can also hit the preview icons if these were pictures, they would give you small previews and you can change settings to your heart's content. There's a lot of different things going on there. The next thing is just something I didn't mention in the system settings box information is how do I get everything to be match this black sort of color that I've gone for. You can play around with these things as much as you want, but for me it was application appearance, colors, and then you can pick any one of these ones here that you want. So for example, if I do for this one, you see everything changes, and I think that was what I had there, Dark Future. So Dark Future is the one I got it from clicking Get New Schemes. Get New Schemes brings up this little dialog box. You can sort by newest rating, most downloads are installed, and enter a search term here. So it's quite easy to use. The last thing is the software or the package center, which is one of the main advantages of using Linux that you don't have to go searching for various installation files and websites. You just have everything in the one place. Okay, so it's called the Muon Discover Center. So this is it here. It's really easy to use and I quite like it. So for example, if I hit Kyle is the name of a office editor. So if I just click Kyle, I see a description of it. It gets four sorry, is that five stars, and I get to pick all the add-ons that I may or may not want for it. And it'll give me software highlights of the day, things like that. It's very easy to use, very nice and simple as well. Um, this is the program that I'm currently using to record my desktop, Voco Screen. It works quite well when it doesn't crash, but it has crashed to me a couple of times, but it's also the best one I've encountered thus far. That's pretty much my entire setup for Kubuntu 14.04. The last thing to mention might be your instant messenger, your music player, and a few of the standard icons that you see down here. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you have fun installing 14.04 Kubuntu, and please rate and comment. Thank you for watching.